All right, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a short video on factoring of quadratics. And, um, you know, if you have a quadratic, you know, it's normally in the form of AX squared plus BX plus C. Now, to the, in this video, I'm only going to do ones where the coefficient of A is 1. I'll do ones where they're greater than 1. Those get a little bit more complicated. I'll do um, some of those. Uh, in another video. But anyway, so let's just say we have, you know, a x squared plus um, 8x plus 15, and you're asked to factor it. Okay, well, the, the best way to do this is just, you know, make a little um, chart here. Okay, I don't know if this is a chart per se, but go like this. And um, basically you say, you know, it goes what times what equals C. So what times what, e you know, so the way we're going to do this is what times what equals C. And then we're going to do what plus what equals B. And they're going to be the same factors, okay? So, you know, um, so what times what equals 15 and what plus what equals 8. So we need to look at the factors of 15 and figure out which ones of these will work. Well, you know, if you look at 15, you have, you know, 1 and 15, or maybe 3 and 5. So this would be, you know, 3 and 5 is going to work. So 3 times 5 is 15, and 3 plus 5 is 8. Okay, so you're good to go there. So, you, you know, you just write it like this, x plus 3 uh, times x plus 5. Now, you know, if it's, um, uh, let's scroll down here. Let's, if it, you know, has a negative in it, you know, like x squared um, plus 2x minus 48, let's say. Okay, so you go what times what equals negative 48, what plus what equals 2. Okay, well, you want two factors that, you know, you are close together. Um, one's going to have to be positive, one's going to have to be negative because this is negative, right? So, you know, if you look at 48, well, you have 1 and 48, 2, 24, 4 and 12. Okay, well, 6 and 8 is going to be the nice one there because you can see that the difference is 2. Okay, so um, we need to make it positive. So what we can do is make this one negative. So we can do negative 6 times 8 is negative 48, and then negative 6 plus 8 is 2. Okay, so we're, we're good to go. X minus 6. Um, times x plus 8. Now, if you were to FOIL this back, you would get the same answer, you know, just to, you can always check your work. So, like, you know, x squared uh, plus 8x minus 6x minus 48. Uh, I did that. Whoop! Like that. And that's x squared plus 2x minus 48. So, you can see that we started with the same thing right there. Okay, so, um, you know, that's, that's how you factor right there. Um, let's do uh, one more where they're both negative. So let's say we have, um, I don't know, like x squared, let's see, I'm just making this up off the top of my head, um, minus 12x plus 27. Okay, so this one, these ones can get a little tricky because... Um, you, what times what equals 27, and what plus what equals negative 12. Okay, well, in this case, if we look at the factors of 27, you know, we have, you know, 1 times 27, and 3 times 9. Okay, well, in this case, if we do, you know, we do negative 3 times negative 9, that's going to be 27, because the negative times the negative is positive. And then negative 3 plus negative 9 is negative 12. Okay, so it, whenever you have a negative B and a positive um, C, it's always, both of them are always going to be negative. So, you know, in this case, we get X minus 3 times X minus 9. Um, now, you know, why, why do you even need to do this? Okay, well, wow, that's an awesome line. Okay, anyway... Um, you know, what this is showing us is if we have a quadratic, and when you get in deeper into quadratics, what this is showing us right here is if you, you know, um, if you made those equal to zero, okay, so, you know, if we made this equal to zero, our solutions would be x equals 3 and x equals 9, because 3 minus 3 is 0, and 9 minus 9 is 0. 
Well, what this represents here is, you know, where this par uh, parabola is going to cross the x-axis. So, you know, this, you know, I'm just going to sketch it, it would look something like this. You know, I mean, that's not the greatest sketch in the world, but that's what, when you factor, that's what, what you're doing. You're finding out where it crosses the x-axis. Now, there's a bunch of other ways to do this. You can do the quadratic formula. Um, you know, you can do it on a graphing calculator, but... It's kind of nice for, for the ones that, that factor nicely to, to be able to just bust it out real quick. So anyway, I uh, hope this helped you out, and I will make another video where you have a coefficient that, you know, where A is greater than 1. I'll show you how to do that. Um, I'll show you the box method for that, or I'll show you to split the middle term. There's two ways to do it. Anyway, I uh, hope this helped you out. Uh, take care.